Hey guys, it's Kaden. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about currencies and about managing multiple currencies. First off, each user is able to choose what currency they want to work in. Right now, I'm working in euros. I don't, I'm not as familiar with the euro, so I'm going to change that to the US dollar. So I'm going to go to my profile, go to settings, and then I'm going to click language and time zone. Here, I can select my currency, which I'm going to select the US dollar. I'm going to save that. When I come back home, refresh the page, I'll now be working in a currency that I'm more familiar with. Now, there were only two options for currencies there, and that's because those are the only two active currencies that I have right now. If I want to activate more currencies, I'm going to have to come into setup. And first off, what you're going to want to do if you want to work with multiple, is you're going to want to come and check your company information page. Once this loads, you're going to want to make sure that this activate multiple currencies checkbox is checked. Once you've made sure that that is checked, you can come into the quick box, type in manage currencies, click on that, and here you're going to click manage currencies, and now you can see that I have the euro, the US dollar, active currencies, and then the Australian dollar that is um, inactive. So from here, if I want to activate the Australian dollar, all I have to do is come over here, click activate. Easy as that. Same way in reverse, if I want to deactivate it, you click deactivate, easy as that. Here we can see that our corporate currency is the US dollar. If I want to change that, also super easy. I'm going to click change corporate. It's going to give me a pick list. I'm going to choose the Australian dollar, save that. And just like that, our corporate currency has changed. If I would need to add another currency, I'm going to click on new, come to this pick list. I'm going to pick one. Uh, got this Swiss franc right here, so I'm not sure what that is. Or 0.978. Leave the decimal places at two. Save that. And now we have the Swiss franc automatically activated. And that is how you can change your custom currency for your own private profile and also how you can manage multiple currencies for your organization.